Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Fish of Hex. My name is Travis. Today's video, I'm going to give you my first impressions of the new Trident here on the 300 gallon reef. Some of you guys were kind of amazed to know that I didn't have one this whole time. Um, well, I usually wait for new stuff to come out, see how it kind of interacts with the general public, see what kind of problems might pop up before I start spending some money. Now, I do want to give a quick shout out to Rick. Uh, Rick's Fish and Pet Supply out of Frederick, Maryland for giving me a great deal on this and uh, also sending along some pretty awesome stuff uh, including six months of reagent. So uh, shout out to him. Um, now I will do a more in-depth video later on on the Trident but this is kind of my first impressions while the ATO kicks on. That's a I hasn't done that in a while in a video. Uh, but anyway, so I have it here sitting on my ATO reservoir just because it fits pretty well with it being connected to the apex behind it. And also um, having the drain uh, jug here, which is just a one gallon jug BRS two part. And then of course, it's uh, picking up the water here in the sump right after it comes by the filter socks. Not really any micro bubbles there and that's something that they made sure that we didn't have to deal with. So. Um, the reason why I put it there and not kind of in this section is because I have my affluent coming in over here and I didn't really want to have it kind of testing right where the affluent's about to go up into the tank. I'd rather go through the entire system before picking up the accurate uh, alkalinity reading. So that was my uh, point behind that. We'll see how it does. But anyway, um, I really like it so far. I'm mainly using it to test alkalinity. Of course, I have it testing four times a day. It tests uh, calcium and magnesium twice and alkalinity four times. And uh, that's the minimum you can do. Um, now, I'm pretty happy with it. It seems relatively accurate. I have to give it a few more days before I can actually, ooh, I don't know why it's doing that, before I can actually calibrate it. But I just tested at noon and I got, uh, what was it? I got nine DKH on my HANA checker. And this one was, what was it? I think it was pretty darn close. It was at uh, 8.79. So yeah, pretty close. Um, I still will try to calibrate it just for the sake of doing that, but overall, pretty happy with the uh, the reading on it. Now, um, we know that the the uh, Hannah checker can be always can be a point off, so who knows? This might be correct, the Hannah checker might be correct, or they might be wrong. We don't know, but I'm still going to calibrate it just to kind of see what reading I get. But overall, I really do like it. It's easy to set up. Now, I was going to do a setup video, but then I was like, well, Apex is making me watch all these videos to set it up. What the heck is the point of trying to make a, a setup video on it? But um, again, I will kind of show you guys a six month reagent and kind of talk about how to, you know, changing it out and when to change it out and just different things about this as time goes on. But overall, there's already a video out there, so I didn't really want to waste the time on how to, you know, mess with it. So uh, other than that, I really like it. It's kind of cool. Definitely an expensive piece of equipment. And no, I didn't get it for free. I did get a good price. Uh, and uh, of course, I got some extra stuff to go along with it. But I did not get it for free, so for those of you who think, uh, you know, just being a YouTuber getting free shit, that's just not something that happens, at least not for me. Um, I don't like taking things for free because when you take stuff for free, you definitely owe a lot to the person who gave it to you, and I'm not in the business of owing people anything. So, uh, yeah. Um, am I going to keep it here above the uh, ATO, regula or ATO container? Probably, because I don't really think of any other place to put it. I was kind of maybe debating setting up a stand over here but i don't want to hit it or step on it so you know i think it's good where it is for right now i was even considering putting it up by one of the other tanks it's going to be blue i was thinking about putting it up on the shelf here and uh you know just having it there but then i have to get a longer um uh, aquabus cable or even the power cable so i don't really want to deal with that right now it's good where it's at but uh yeah that's pretty much it um not really much to say other than the fact that it's self-contained. I didn't like the fact that this damn thing kept popping off. That was really irritating. When I was trying to slide this in, it would pop off. I don't know if that's part of the deal, but uh, yeah, it was pretty annoying. But other than that, um, overall kind of uh, structure, it seems kind of flimsy, to be honest. When you pull this out and this falls out, this kind of wiggles around. It just seems kind of flimsy given the price, but it does do the job. So that's really what I'm focusing on. Not so much about the structure of it because plastic's plastic. I mean, what are you going to do, right? So... Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll give you guys, again, more videos as we go on. Of course, I'll let you guys know if I have to calibrate it and keep it in the loop. But other than that, pretty happy with it. And uh, it's nice to know uh, what the alkalinity is consistently throughout the day. Um, now, when it comes to people asking me if I'm going to get rid of my calcium reactor uh, and use two-part alongside with this, that's a big hell no. Um, there's there a couple reasons. One, I can never go back to two-part. This tank is too big. It uses up way too much, and I would have some salinity issues trying to keep up with the demand with two-part. Uh, two, I don't want to pay for it, and three, I really love my calcium reactor. 
So that shit ain't going anywhere. If anything, we'll get a bigger one someday. Well, we're going to have to on the new system, but I'll save that for a later video. Anyway, uh, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, uh, let me know. If you have one of these, let me know what your experiences are. Uh, feel free to uh, you know fill me in, and uh, if anything I need to look out for, like somebody told me that I need to make sure that I uh, float the calibration fluid to get temperature before using it. Just little stuff like that. Any information, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later in another video. Peace.